Not long after Ta ranked Gonzaga received a West Coast Conference Tournament trophy, an arena full of Zags fans started a chant of number one. Big, deep, athletic, tough-minded, not to mention dominating and willing to play defense. It'd be hard to argue against them. Cario Lenik had 21 points and 12 rebounds, and Gonzaga bolstered its case for a number one seed in the NCAA tournament by rooting St. Mary's 65-51 in the West Coast Conference final Monday night. It was a complete game, Gonzaga coach Mark Few said. We really played a complete game. The Zags have had plenty of those this season. Already headed to the NCAA tournament for the 15th straight season, Gonzaga 31-2 sure had the look of a number one seed against the West Coast rivals, dominating at both ends. The deep Zags shot 52%, dominated inside and teamed up to Hound Gale's leading scorer Matthew Delaverdova everywhere he went. Elias Harris added 19 points and Gonzaga had a 42-18 advantage in the paint to win its 14th straight game. But instead of hopping up and down at their accomplishment, the Zags gave a few high fives and hugs amid the streamers falling from the ceiling, a subdued celebration for a team that has eyes on a bigger prize. You've got to enjoy you successes come, but you have to be short-minded in the sense that it's not the end of the year for us and we still want to come out and make some noise in the tournament, Bill Lenny said. St. Mary's 27-6 labored against Gonzaga's attacking defense and size inside particularly after point guard Jordan Page injured his right knee midway through the first half. Dele Verdota struggled for the second straight game, scoring two points on one of its shooting, and the Gales went 7-4-27 from three-point range while shooting 35% overall. Stephen Holt left St. Mary's, which should have a solid enough resume to earn an at-large SEAA bid. I thought we played well offensively, but we didn't shoot it well, which is a big part of offense. St. Mary's coach Randy Bennett said. Gonzaga has been the marker form of major success, reaching the NCAA tournament 14 straight seasons and the regional finals four times, including the past two seasons. This season, the Zags broke through a big barrier on their way to 30 wins for the first time, number one. Behind Olenek, the long-haired Canadian with the Seattle grunge vibe and way above the rim game, Gonzaga lost just two games, two ranked teams and became the first team to go 16-0 in the WCC. That earned the Bulldogs a spot atop the Associated Press poll for the first time last week. While the glare at the top was too much for many teams in this season of parity, Gonzaga handled prosperity well, closing the regular season with a route over Portland. Gonzaga then beat Loyola Marymount in the semifinals of the WCC tournament to reach the title game for the 16th straight season. Waiting for them was a familiar folk. The Gales and Bulldogs have met 15 times the past five seasons, trading WCC tournament championships each of the past four years. Gonzaga beat St. Mary's both times they met during the regular season, 83-78 at home and 77-60 in the Bay Area. The Gales nearly missed a third shot, needing a late three-pointer by De Verdova and overtime to hold off San Diego in the WCC semifinals. St. Mary's managed to keep it close until Page got hurt at 11.42 of first half, then went more than six minutes without a field goal against Gonzaga's aggressive man defense.